اور اب آپ کو بتائیں کہ وزیر داخلہ چودری نثار علی خان اس وقت نیوز کانفرنس کر رہے ہیں کنسسٹنٹلی اور ہسٹوریکلی ہیز ہیڈ ایک ویری گوڈ ریلیشن میں دی یونائیڈ کنگڈم آئی ڈو نوٹ ریکال اور سی اینی سیریس پرابلم وچ ہیز ان اینی وی افیکٹڈ دی ریلیشن شپ بیٹوین دی ٹو کنٹریز یس There, there are a few irritants, there are a few roadblocks, but we have agreed to address them within the limits of our authority, within the limitations imposed by our respective systems and our respective laws. So if I was to summarize it before handing over the floor to the Home Secretary, uh, I am extremely satisfied with both the scope and the manner of our discussions. The agreements arrived at and in particular the understanding of each other's point of view which was very visible and very obvious uh, in these meetings. I would uh, once again like to welcome the Home Secretary to Pakistan. This is uh, her first visit to Pakistan. Uh, I hope, and as the Prime Minister also said, this is the first of many such visits uh, in the future. And I hope the bedrock of cooperation, which has been historically built between the two countries, particularly, particularly relating to security, I think will be carried forward between our two respective ministries and our two respective governments. Uh, at this point, let me also uh, identify and uh, appreciate uh, the role, the very proactive leadership of the former Home Secretary and the present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. She had She has made many visits to Pakistan. She has many friends and, and well wishes here. And I think as Home Secretary... وزیر داخلہ چودھری نسا برطانوی ہوم سیکرٹری کے ہمراہ پریس کانفرنس کر رہے تھے جس میں انہوں نے برطانوی حکومت کا اور برطانوی ہوم سیکرٹری کا انتہائی شکریہ بھی ادا کیا پھر آپ کو براہ راست نہیں چلیں گے برطانوی ہوم سیکرٹری وزیر داخلہ کے ہمراہ اس پر نیوز کانفرنس کر رہی ہیں As the Home Secretary has very eloquently reflected the substance of our discussions, I will not uh, get into the issue in any more detail except to say that uh, I have been raising this issue consistently over the last three and a half years with uh, for the former Home Secretary and the now Prime Minister and now with the present Home Secretary. There has never been a difference of opinion on the issue at our level. Yes, there have been issues at the administrative level about what Pakistan requests or areas of request are or what we are demanding or what we are expecting and what the Home Office can deliver. There are administrative issues, there are legal issues. But again, without giving too much away, let me reiterate that I am uh, very satisfied uh, with what transpired in our meeting inside on this issue and uh, as importantly what the Home Secretary had has, has said so very publicly. Uh, suffice it to say that uh, the perception about this individual and his activities is so very different in UK from the perception here in Pakistan. And as a representative of this government, I feel that it has become a small irritant in an otherwise all-encompassing relationship. So we have evolved a total consensus, as before, as to how to go forward within the limitations both on the authority and the legal restraints of the Home Office and similarly within the authority and the legal powers 
of the Interior Ministry of Pakistan. Secretary, you say uh, Britain is open for business. There are extensive trade contacts between Pakistan and Britain, very often at small business level. But the trade deals between the two countries are entirely EU trade deals, and there is concern amongst the business community here about what Brexit is going to mean for them. What sort of reassurance can you give the business community here about ongoing trade between the two countries? And what sort of, uh, or to, to both you and the Interior Ministry, what's, Minister, what sort of opportunities do you see for the future? Uh, thank you very much. Well, I see uh, leaving the European Union as an opportunity to really step up our relationships, our trading relationships particularly, with a country like Pakistan. It puts an extra momentum and urgency in wanting to make sure that we reassure businesses here and that we work with both UK businesses exporting and Pakistan businesses exporting even more closely. The whole point about leaving the European Union is to make sure that we are absolutely a global Britain, open for business, deepening those relationships with a country like Pakistan. So I hope that in direct answer to your question, that businesses here will take some excitement and enthusiasm from the renewed vigour that we're approaching our relationship with Pakistan. If I'm allowed to add, uh, Madam Home, Home Secretary, in spite of the fact that trade and commerce does not fill, uh, fall within our area of responsibility. It is an area which was discussed both uh, in the meeting with the Prime Minister and the Home Secretary and then in our own uh, bilateral meeting. Uh, I think both sides uh, are very conscious, very clear about the fact that trade is the way forward to take the relations between the two countries to a higher level. And in this context, uh, after my last visit to the UK, I talked to the Prime Minister and got approved the visit of the Commerce Secretary of Pakistan to the United Kingdom. We are planning more such bilateral visits, focusing entirely on trade and commerce. We feel that is the way forward. We feel that is in the interest of Pakistan and the UK. Uh, and the opportunities, both in the UK, post-Brexit, and Pakistan, post-CPEC, and given the, the improved security situation here, the sky is the limit to which the two countries, and, and, uh, to the extent to which the two countries can cooperate. Mr. Uh, my question is to Home Secretary. Pakistan has recently held talks with Afghanistan uh, after the closure of Afghan border. So what kind of uh, facilitation UK is extended uh, to resolve the issue of between Afghanistan and Pakistan in countering terrorism? In counter terrorism? Um, well, this is an area that uh, the Minister and I have been discussing extensively. Um, we have lots to learn from each other, and I have extended to him suggestions of additional support which we can give where we have particular areas of expertise which we think can be of help. And I have been talking to him too about his advice on areas of extremism where we might learn something. So. In terms of counter-terrorism, I hope that we'll be able to work even more closely to make sure that we continue to make Pakistan even safer. As I said earlier, I've been impressed by the way that this country has increased its safety record so significantly over the past two years, and I hope we'll be able to help you build on that with some of our ideas and developments. Just to add, uh, <coughs> the specific uh, point of occurrence has been the recent meeting in London between our uh, uh, foreign advisor, Mr. Sataj Aziz, and the national security advisor of Afghanistan. I think that facilitation took place uh, through the good offices of Her Majesty's government. And as a result of the discussions that took place, you have already seen some positive movements in diffusing t tensions and doubts between Afghanistan and Pakistan. One such instance took place just today, the opening of the Torkham border. Uh, the basic objective is to package areas of, of cooperation in this area, both in areas of regional security and of internal security, to package them, put them together, and then discuss with them over the next few weeks and months before we come 
to some kind of an agreement. Well, I'm uh, to the visiting uh, Home Secretary. Basically, British uh, diplomacy is being credited for this uh, easing of tensions between Afghanistan and Pakistan and this opening of the border. Uh, I'm wondering what else Britain can do to help sustain this reconciliation process, which is seen important for these stabilization efforts in Afghanistan, because we're seeing a lot of violence in Afghanistan in the shape of Taliban attacks. Yes, um, uh, that's absolutely right. Well, we hope that the example of our assistance, which the Interior Minister kindly referred to in London, is something that other countries or Afghanistan might take advantage of again. We remain ready to try and facilitate meetings that will help, to, to help, help for a peaceful atmosphere to evolve uh, in London wherever we can. We are friends to Pakistan, and so whenever we can, we will try to facilitate that sort of environment. I think uh, the United Kingdom is uniquely equipped for, for, for that role. Uh, it is a country and a people who listen to the other's point of view, who absorb the other point of view, who don't trust a solution on their own. So I think very well placed for this facilitation and their facilitation is well appreciated in the region. Thank you. تو وزیر داخلہ چودھری نثار اور برطانوی ہوم سیکرٹری نیوز کانفرنس کر رہے تھے چودھری نثار کی جانب سے کہا گیا کہ دونوں ملکوں نے مشترکہ مسائل کے حل پر اتفاق کیا ہے